The first thing I want us to style on this form is the input group. And when I say input group, I am referring to this combination of the label and the input elements accompanying it. But before we style the input group, I want to give our form here a background color of white and then centralize it like we see on the finished project. Okay, so let us consult our HTML. So I am inside the create.html for post. And we did give a class of admin form to our form element. So let us copy this class. We open our admin style.css and let us scroll past the section for our table styles. We scroll past table uh, table pagination and then at the bottom of or at the end of table pagination and just before the styles for admin layout, we are going to add another section, a comment to mark the admin star admin form styles. Okay, so let us select our admin form. We are going to give it a margin at the top of 30 pixels and then O2 to centralize it horizontally. Then we'll give it a background color of white, a border radius of 5 pixels to give it round edges, and then a padding of 20 pixels. Okay, so with this, let us uh, refresh our browser and this is what it looks like. Okay, it's looking like the finished project, so we can proceed to styling the input group. As usual, let us consult our, our HTML. This is an example of an input group. So it is a div element wrapping a label and an input element. So let us copy the input group. Now the input group is going to be used repeatedly across the site. So I am going to classify it as a default star. So let us scroll to the top here, uh, to the default section, and uh, we add this selector at the end of that section. Now the input group, we are going to give it some basic styles, like some space between one input group and the other, and then some space between the label and the input element. So for a start, we're going to give it a margin top of 16 pixels. And then we select the label that is inside it and give it a, uh, we we'll, we'll set the display to block. And the reason we are doing this is so that the input element will be displayed on a new line. So if we give the label a display of block, it basically says, um, display it only this uh, label on a on the horizontal line to which it belongs okay so when we do that we give a margin bottom of 8 pixels to give it some space between the label and the input element okay so let us refresh okay it is gradually taking shape now let us move on to style the input element itself and we did give it a class of, uh, let me see, input control. So in our admin style, the CSS, let's add a selector for input control. Now the input control is going to be used repeatedly across the site also. So we are going to select just that class here in the default section. All right, so input control. The first thing we will do is we'll give it a display of block also and then give it a width of 100%. Then we'll give it a font size of about 1.1 rem. That is, we'll make the text to be about 10% bigger than the normal or the default font size. We'll give it a color of this color uh, I prepared in the background. That is the color of the text in the input field. We'll give it a background color of white, a border of one pixel solid black, but we are going to make the black slightly transparent. Um, let me turn it to, I'll just make the opacity to be 0.26. And then we'll give it a line height of 1.6 rem a padding of 0 0.75 rem top and bottom and then one rem left and right 
give it a border radius of about 3 pixels and then a height of 52 pixels and then a font family of inherit so that you can inherit the font family of its parent component okay i think this is all for the input control the basic style of the input control refresh and the style is gradually coming out okay now when you focus on the input field the outline of the input field looks a little too blue if you look at the finished project the blue here is a uh, light blue so this blue you see here is the default blue that the browser assigns to the input element so this is default browser behavior okay so in order to achieve what we have here we're going to add a selector we'll add a selector for the focus state and for that we'll give an outline of zero to remove the default outline that the browser assigns to it and then we'll give it a border color or we'll just give it a border that has this color okay we refresh and this looks good okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to start the small input field uh, remember we have been assigning uh, a small input field in uh, so far one place uh, which is here um, to change the featured post so we need to also define the styles for that so I'm just going to add a an input control small and what we will do here will basically just reduce the height to uh, 42 pixels and we add important so that it can override the height of the default or uh, class we'll also make sure we give it a display of inline block uh, as opposed to a display of block because in all the places where we are so far in all the places where we are using the small input control we are displaying the uh, input control in an inline uh, block format so we are not this in if this were a block format then this button will have to be down and this other thing this other label will be up so this is an inline format and that is why we are setting the small input to uh, the display oops the display of the small input to our uh, inline block okay um one other thing when we look at the form um we are supposed to have this input control behavior to apply on the topic uh, input field also because if we take a look at the finished project this looks very much the same as the title field so there is a, a tiny issue somewhere and I think that is because for the uh, select input field we did not assign any CSS class so we'll do that now we we'll give this a class of input control and automatically those styles will apply to the input field also okay so you see it working now the text area is another input field uh, we forgot to assign it the input control class so let's do that now so we look for text area this is it i know that we are going to replace it very soon uh, with the text editor but that doesn't mean we are not going to be using the text area in other our parts of the application so we are going to add the class of input control to so that we can see how the text area looks all right so now because we gave the input control a fixed height the text area is also just inheriting that fixed size uh fixed height but that's not the behavior we want for a text area that works fine for input elements but not text areas so i'm going to select a text the text area with the class of input control okay so just under the input control classes i'm just going to select text area that has an input control class and we will unset the height 
and make sure we add important because we are basically overriding the styles for the input control okay so we refresh and we see it looking more like a text area if you want to increase the number of rows and columns it's up to you you can just add columns so i think this is vertical no okay rows let's see 10 okay all right so it is the rows that's vertical so if you want your text area to be bigger you can add these but i just want it to be small like this okay so this is looking good um the next things we we'll work on are the form errors to design them then the um the text editor this one replacing the text input or the text area with the text editor and then lastly or not lastly we'll make sure that we align the choose image button and the select topic input side by side as seen on the finished project and of course we have the button okay so we're going to continue on in the next video